good morning so today is registration day i think it starts at nine it's currently half past eight and usually i would go and get breakfast but i'm actually really not that hungry so i'm going to go for a walk around campus hopefully registration goes smoothly i'm very excited to finally officially register as a student and get my information and everything i guess we'll actually finally get some information about what's happening because no one's given us any information about anything this is my department I still haven't finished my registration because there are so many steps and so much waiting and so many students so now I don't have a passport size photo I don't know why I don't have one usually I do so I'm having to go to a shop to get it printed and then I've got to go back and finish my registration yeah so many steps so 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 many steps I thought that I got my photos done, but actually they want two passport photos and I don't have that. So I'm with Ignacio from Argentina and we're going together to, to buy the to get the photos taken. And I was I was at the office since 8.30 this morning and it's nearly 1.30 and we're still not finished. We're still not finished. So much to do, it's so annoying. Yeah, it's really annoying. Really, really, really yeah, taking such a long time and I haven't eaten anything, anything all day. Guys, this is actually a joke. It's nearly 2.30 p.m. Six hours, still not finished. Like, it's actually a joke. This university is so disorganized. So, so, so disorganized. I thought I was at the very final step. I went and got my pictures done and everything. And then she asked me for my diploma, my bachelor degree. So I tried to get it on my phone and I got it. And then they said photocopy it, but you can't photocopy it from your phone. You need to go and get it printed. And then they tell me that they need the original diploma. My original diploma is in England. Like, I don't have my bachelor's degree with me now. No one told me to bring it. They said they sent me an email. I got no email. So then a student was trying to help me because I obviously don't have the original document. So they said that they will accept a photocopy, I mean, a, a copy of the non-original document. So that's what I have to do now and then hopefully I really have finished because I haven't eaten anything all day I'm so exhausted, I'm so hungry and I'm just so frustrated with how annoying and troublesome everything is I just... I'm over it now, I just want it done and I want to go and eat some food and rest and then move in to my flat hopefully but yeah, I'm just gonna go print everything now oh, I'm actually sick of it, really really sick of it So we've just done the medical examination. We had to meet at school at half past eight. It's now 1 p.m. We finally got back. I am not going to go home because I can get my scholarship money today in an hour's time. So I have an hour to kill. So I'm going to go back to the dormitory and sort out all of my stuff and pack it and make sure it's all ready and go back and check with the hotel that they can give me my money because we had to give a 1,000 UN deposit and I tried to check out this morning because I wanted to get cash because the hostel required cash payment and I didn't want to withdraw any more money since I knew I was going to get this 1,000 in cash so I went this morning to try and check out but they said that it takes about an hour for them to like check the rooms okay and everything for me to get my deposit back so I just asked if they could give me 500 because I needed that for the hospital and they agreed. So I still have 500 I need to go and take, but they're going to also deduct the electricity fees and stuff for the time that I was in the room, which was just about just over a week. So I'm going to go and sort that out and also pack all of my stuff and 
yeah, then go and get my scholarship money and go back to my house. <laughs> Guys, I don't know why I'm so tired. Maybe it's because of the medical exams that we did this morning, um, because we did a blood test and other exams. Maybe it, it would only be the blood test that would have made me this tired, but um, I'm so tired. But even yesterday at around 4 or 5 p.m., I actually also had to take a nap. I don't know, I'm just so exhausted. So exhausted. It must also be the heat, I think. And because I think yesterday, I also don't eat that much food. And today, I didn't really eat food. So I'm starving. But I'm going to go cycle to the school now and meet a friend and go and eat dinner. I'm so hungry. Good morning. So... Today is the day of our placement exam because they rescheduled it from yesterday to this morning and am I ready for it? Absolutely not. Have I prepared or revised? Absolutely not. But at the same time, there's only so much you could cram in a couple of days. So whatever level I am at, whatever I get in the test, it's fine because the real hard work begins this weekend slash when classes begin next Monday. So I'm actually not too stressed or worried about it because I think I already know which class I'll be in based on last year. Depending on this cohort's range of um, levels, it depends, but I definitely think I'll be in the second class, maybe potentially in the third class if I do really well, but there's so much vocab that I've forgotten and I haven't had time to review. So whatever happens in the test happens. I'm honestly not going to stress about it. I just want to get it over and done with because then I've got to come back and do so much stuff. Guys, today it is so 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 hot and I've arrived at uni, got my big bouts of breakfast. I'm gonna head to the room where I'm sure many 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 students are already waiting because we will have to take the test. I also don't think that there's enough space in the classroom for all of us to sit but let's see. Hopefully the test doesn't take longer than an hour but who knows, who knows. We had our exam. How did yeah. you find it, Rosa? This is Rosa, my friend from Peru. How did you find it? I found it pretty. It's what it was not difficult, but it was easy. Okay, I found it difficult. <laughs> I found some parts very yeah. difficult. There was some words from HSK five, maybe. Maybe. HSK four. I was HSK4 seven years ago guys, seven years ago and I did not revise anything really in that time so there were lots of questions that I just, I know that I guessed and I couldn't answer them so I don't think I'm going to score well on the exam but it's okay because I know that I'll be Arnie and G which is what I thought I would be yeah, yeah. but if they split if they split Arnie and G to two classes like the lower and the higher I hope I'm in the higher but I think from the test I'm, I would not be in the higher I really think in the test I scored maybe 60%, 70%? Yeah. Maybe 60, yeah. Yeah, so not 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 great. But at least I could write the essay. Yeah. <laughs> at least I could write the essay. Rose is showing me a place to get bubble tea, milk tea, or fruit tea. What do you usually get? Um, bubble tea. Bubble tea, okay. Come, babe! <laughs> just had lunch in the school canteen which I'm surprised wasn't closed at this time and we've just been informed I was gonna go home but we've just been informed that we get the results of our test well not the results but we, we find out what class we're gonna be in at 2 p.m. which is in half an hour so we have half an hour to kill I'm telling you now I know I said it before in the video I'm in Anya and G like I'm gonna be in the second class because my test result was not good I'm gonna be in the second class I already know that so I don't even know why we're gonna wait to see the list like I know I'm gonna be in the second class like I just know and then maybe Rosa will be in the third class. Maybe Rosa will be in the third class, but I know I will be in the second class. Yeah, but they're telling us so we can buy our textbooks before classes start on Monday. So it's nearly 3 p.m. Well, actually, it's just past 3 p.m. We're still waiting for the class placement. This is not just China, but 
this university, the administration is very slow. So we're still waiting. Hopefully it won't take much longer because I actually do need to go back and do some work and sort stuff out. I thought I had the whole afternoon, but clearly not. Excuse the mess behind me. I still haven't untied or done anything because we had the exam this morning. And I, as I said, I didn't think that I did very well, but I definitely thought I got enough to get to the second class, which is the intermediate level. Um, because last year I was in the intermediate class before I um, suspended my studies. There's usually three or four classes. So last year there were three classes and the three classes were beginner, intermediate and advanced. Beginner is basically assuming you don't know anything or you are very basic, really, really, really basic knowledge. Um, and the intermediate is obviously intermediate and the advanced is like, you are quite good at trying to use a Mandarin. And so last year I was in the intermediate class and that was definitely the level that I was meant to be at. So this year, as I kept saying to the vlog, I kept saying I know that I'm going to be in the same class as last year because I stopped my suspended my study, so I wouldn't be in a higher class, but I definitely would not be in a lower class. Like, I, I'm not a beginner, so I wouldn't be in the beginner class. Anyway, after waiting for more than two hours for the results, because the teachers told us to come at two, and it got to four o'clock and they still hadn't given us the results, and I have so much to do, so I just said, look, I'm just... I'm just going to go home, which is where I am obviously. I'm just going to go home and I'll get a friend to post it in the chat or send, send me photos. Of course, as what happens, as soon as I arrived home, they posted the results um, and one of my friends sent me the, the sheet. And can you believe it? They put me in the, <laughs> in the beginner class, but I think it must be a huge mistake. I think the teacher, I mean, this university is so disorganized. I think the teachers also just messed up massively on the actual exams because we did that we sat the papers this morning and they had to mark everyone's and place us in all these classes in just a few hours and I, I definitely think they made a mistake because first of all if you were even able to take the exam you are definitely not a beginner because if you are a beginner and you are in the beginner class then you will literally study from the very beginning they will assume you have no knowledge of mandarin at all you'll go back to the basics you will learn the sounds you will learn the tones you will learn the pinyin everything right and <laughs> i'm not going back to learn that stuff i did not come to china to learn that stuff when i learned that stuff when i was three years old so honestly when i was three years old so i'm not i'm not i i, I absolutely refuse to be in the beginner class for obvious reasons and I do think they messed up the test because, as I said, if you were even able to sit the test and complete the test, which I did, and you have to write an essay in Mandarin as well at the end, obviously you're not a beginner. And the test was definitely HSK3, HSK4 content. So you were definitely at least at least in the intermediate class. If you do very well on the test, then maybe you'll be put in the advanced class. But you are at most, if you're sitting the exam, you're definitely intermediate. If you, if you can finish the exam, you're definitely intermediate. And last year I was in the intermediate class and it was fine. So I don't know how they can place me in a class lower than I was in last year. It just makes no sense. And there were also three other Italian students. So there's six Italian students who I've become friends with. And three of them, so they are all, their Mandarin is better than mine. So I'm HSK4 level, or at least <laughs> at least I was seven years ago, but they are all HSK5, or they should be. So I kept saying to them, you're definitely gonna be in San Yen Ji, like you're gonna be in the third, in the, in the advanced class. Anyway, three of them, half of them are in my class, in the beginner class, but they are obviously not beginners because they, they're studying for their masters. So I just think the school messed up even when I gave in my exam, they asked me to write my student number and I didn't remember it and I didn't have it. So I just think overall, with the history of the disorganization of this university, they've messed up. They've massively messed up because, yeah, I'm definitely not a beginner and I refuse to sit through beginner classes. I didn't come to China for that. Luckily, the first week of classes, you get to sit in on different levels and choose a class that is most useful to your level. So I will immediately go to the intermediate classes. I think at the moment, if there's only intermediate and advanced, then the intermediate is enough for me. I'm gonna see what happens next week, but I am most definitely not going to the beginner class because that makes no sense when A, I'm not a beginner, and B, last year I was in the, the intermediate class. And also this year they're using the exact same textbooks that we used last year for the intermediate class, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm at least that level, so I'm not going, I'm not going lower, I'm not going lower. I've just been on my phone honestly trying to sort this out, asking what on earth is going on, trying to figure everything out, but I'm just going to take the intermediate class timetable and start putting it in my calendar and just sorting everything out so I know my class times, 
and then yeah we'll just we'll just see what happens next week